In early 2018, China officially closed its borders to the acceptance of waste plastics and created an opportunity for many countries to find other practical uses for it. Following on from this, EnviroNZ partnered with Road Science to create an innovative product which will potentially incorporate the inclusion of waste plastics into public New Zealand roads. A few of the main benefits of using recycled plastic in roading is that it prevents the material going to landfill or ending up on our beaches or in our rivers and oceans. It also eliminates the need to transport and ship these materials thousands of kilometres overseas for processing. This will significantly reduce our carbon footprint. As a bonus, we're also hopeful that the plastic material will offer greater longevity to the traditional roading mix and reduce the frequency of roadworks. The environmental and practical benefits of this project make it extremely exciting and we look forward to sharing our progress with you as the development and the trials continue. So I'm Darcy Rogers and I'm the Technical Development Manager here at Road Science. Today we're going to have a bit of a sneak peek behind the, the curtains of Road Science and we're going to be looking at what we're doing to solve the waste plastic problem in New Zealand. So a few months ago one of our customers approached us about the growing waste plastic problem in New Zealand and what Road Science was looking at was well, can we find an alternative avenue for repurposing this waste into asphalt. And the big challenge in New Zealand is that we don't actually have a lot of domestic recyclers so we have to find ways we can repurpose this waste in New Zealand without having to export it overseas. The key partner we've been working with is EnviroNZ and they've got a lot of expertise around collecting waste and also turning that into a form where we can actually use this in our asphalt products. So the goal for us for this project was could we take the waste plastic and incorporate it to the asphalt without adversely affecting the material. What we found was that it actually improved the performance of the, of the material and that was really, really uh, encouraging for us and, 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 and quite surprising at the same time. The next step for us is seeing if we can also do the same thing with chip seal so we can have a greater impact on the waste plastic problem in New Zealand. Simon Hall has been a key person working on this project for us, so he's our R&D solutions manager. Uh, his role is about working with our laboratories and also our development partners to find a solution to this problem. So as with most research and development products, a significant amount of work in the early stages is done within the laboratory. So the material we are using is a plastic that nobody else wants, essentially. So it's a waste product stream that's made up of many different types of plastic. So the most important thing for us early on is to figure out what are the properties of those plastics or the material. So we have an instrument called the FTIR, a um, new instrument to us, and that gives us the ability to categorise plastics. So to determine what types of plastics are in there uh, and how much of each. So we also looked at many other properties such as how they behave at different temperatures, how they mix with other materials and what impact that has. So using that information, the next stage for us was to decide on the best process to get that plastic into the ash belt. So this was the biggest challenge for us. Um, we wanted to make sure whatever we did didn't change the properties of the ash belt and how it was laid. So once we nailed that came the exciting part and that was to look at the performance properties of the ash belt. So the main objective of the project overall was to make sure we delivered a product that was either on par or hopefully exceeded a current standard asphalt mix. So performance tests, they give us an indication of how an asphalt is going to last, so how durable is it, um, what effect does the traffic have on, on the material. So for us it was really satisfying to see a massive improvement on some of the performance tests. So some of the results we saw was uh, a big improvement on how it withstands damage to water as well as how much it resists rutting on the road. We've got some exciting times ahead, so we've got uh, field trials planned for the current product we've developed. Uh, on the development side we um, really want to look to optimise the mix as it stands, so making sure we get a good balance of all the performance properties. And that way we can specify a specific mix for a specific application on the road. So we'll also be looking to work closely with our development partners such as EnviroNZ, looking for ways to incorporate this waste plastic into more of our existing products, as well as challenging the status quo, um, looking to develop new unique products, game-changing products for road science.